All right, guys, we're going to be going over my fishing mate pier cart. I use this as a beach cart, too. And this is my Pompano 2023 setup for the Pompano run that's coming up soon. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys what my setup is. So back here, this thing um, comes with standard or well, like stock. It comes with eight rod holders. That's plenty. And seven if you're counting if you have this thing in there, but this thing is awesome. It's just good little like drop sh drop zone. I just got pliers, uh, hook removers, fish bites right there, a couple extra rigs and whatnot. Um, got these little hooks right here for weights. And then I can get like a scissors right there, a knife, good little cutting board. You can store a bunch of like uh, rigs right there, or, like lures and whatnot. And, um, we here we got my big cooler this thing's good for if we get like bycatch of redfish and black drum and stuff but we can also throw some pompano in there and if we just want to if we're doing a tournament for pompano we'll fill that thing up with the water and shove the pompano in there and if the if the bite's pretty hot we'll just throw them in there real quick take that lid off and uh that milk crate does add four extra raw holders on there so that puts me up to what is it uh 12 rod holders in all so if i'm taking a friend or I just have a couple extra rods i can smoke them like that right now i only got six rods on there i did put this custom um setup right here where i put all my hooks and rigs right here i love this this is awesome you just gotta get zip ties right here and put a like a pool noodle cut it in half like so right here cut it in half on the bottom and then zip it on and then you can just wrap like i use it for sabiki rigs a lot on the pier because you all know how those things can go pretty much a one-time use unless you have one of those and i just got my ex extra area where I, I can put an umbrella even if i wanted i can have uh my ghost ghost shrimp um sucker I just keep my uh, long rod holders right there. And on the bottom, I made some little, uh, like, kind of storage area for my extra smaller rod holders. I just put these little clips on the bottom, tied it up with, like, 20-pound mono or whatever. And that's enough space for four. And then I got my two other ones on the side. I can always put more. And uh, that's that's about it. Got um, all my extra rods right here awesome setup i love this thing you can um adjust this handlebar and you can also take it off if you want like that if you're taking it in the car fisher might does have a bike attachment instead of this kind of like a bar right here you can put a bike part you know it comes out way more and it's a bit higher they also have a version with actual beach tires on this this is meant for the pier you do not want to take those beach tires on the pier because they will pop in there's splinters, hooks, and all that type of stuff sticking up on the pier, lead weights and all. You don't want to take this um, tires on there. They'll pop like a balloon. Um, so that's why I got these on here because I do fish the pier a lot, and they do work pretty well in the sand. Um, you can take them off from the body, and it's an aluminum body, so it's really light. And they do come, this is a bit older, but they do come with this tape measure on here all the way up to... I don't know, it's scratched off, but it's pretty high. You could probably do like a slot red or a big drum on there. I bet it's like 36 inches or so. But uh, that's that's my setup. Just a couple modifications here and there. I like it how it is. What I've been trying to do, I want to get um sea deck and just put it right here so I can stick stick lures. I did had that. Oh, my friend, my friend's cart does have that on there. And it is awesome. It was just like a little drop area when you're on the pier. We just uh, wrapped up a trip to Pensacola where we were smoking the pompanos. And I got a couple of bull rats there and whatnot. Um, Spanish too. Awesome. It was so fun. Like hundreds of jacks that were at the pier. But that really does help. I suggest if you do um, have... Uh, like just if you're tending to drop things around don't really want to hook them through here if you're on the pier because they will fall out and on the beach you won't be able to find it so you can either just stick it in this little bucket and 
so another modification I did, I got this little particle board right here and wrapped it up in some duct tape so it doesn't really rot that much. And then drilled holes into it right there and put the mono. And it's a little divider, it does help. I like having different things on different sides. I'm just, I'm pretty organized as you can tell. Uh, but yeah, you can put this this stuff anywhere on the car. I just chose to put it right there because I saw someone, on, someone else on the pier good spot to put it would probably be like right here or on the sides but uh that's my uh setup right there fisher mate does sell some other attachments they have um like i said the bike attachment right there they have uh other tires that you can switch out the tires do come off so you can store it it's really light and everything i put it in um this car a lot and uh just helps um they do have these extra rubber pieces so you don't scuff up your wheels if you have a smaller rod on there um they do have uh like a net for this so things don't fall through and if you do just have like a five gallon bucket right here you'll like go to the side so sometimes i'll just put um my bag instead of a bucket right here i'll put my bag right there up just a bunch of other things uh if you guys do want a pier setup video, just go ahead and um, comment down below. And uh, I will make that video at your request. So, see you guys on the, on the trail and uh, we'll see what happens when the Pompano run.